coming to you live from Juba. My name is Dear Kwe Paul, another fast story. Vice President Abandeng inaugurates the first gold refinery company known as BTC Global in Juba on Thursday. Speaking during the inauguration, Tabandeng described the mining sector as one of the income generating in the country. Taban described the mining sector as one of the income generating sectors that can promote investment in the country, especially in tourism and agriculture. The chairperson of the parliament's standing specialized committee on mining, Ramadan Hassan, said investment in the mining sector will boost the country's economy. The undersecretaries of the ministries of mining and investment also spoke during the occasion. On behalf of my president, I greet you all. The event looks is small, but this is a very important uh, event. Uh, we have the first refinery, gold refinery in the Republic of South Sudan. It's not a small uh, uh, event, especially to, to our youngsters. So, Mr. Ramadan, I think you, uh, you have something to do now. Be tough on those uh, cartels. We are not telling them not to trade in gold. But let them do it legal so that the government tax them. Our purpose is not to make profit, but it's to tax, to tax uh, BTC. The more BTC produce gold, the more we tax them. And the more we support our education, we support our uh, other sectors of the, uh, of the economy. The Republic of South Sudan is looking forward for such companies in order to boost our economy in the Republic of South Sudan, not the oil only. We need the mineral uh, companies to come and work in the mineral to boost our economy. You need to work hand in hand with the artisanal miners in South Sudan because for now, these are the people who are mining the gold. South Sudan still doesn't have an industrial mining, but there are exploration companies that are working day and night to ensure that they establish an industrial mining in South Sudan. This one, once it is done, it will boost the refinery, our refinery. I call it our refinery. It's no longer a PTC uh, company our uh, PTC Global Refinery. We will own it as South Sudanese. In the ministry we are giving priority today to mining, agriculture, and tourism in the country. We encourage investors to come to us so that they are registered and they are protected. Because when you are in the field like this, you face many problems. And investment is the one to protect you. We believe that this project will bring a positive impact on the people of South Sudan over the next years. We embark on this step with gratitude for our mother continent and our historical bond with Africa 